Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. Ooh, Liberty Loco, hey. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, this is day 25 of the Lico Day Challenge. Uh, I was just at the Liberty game, hands the hat. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, they, they're pretty good this year, so hopefully, you know, this is the year to make the championship. They won today, so they're going off. But, uh, but next round is going to be a tough matchup, so we'll see. Um, yeah, today for my training, I also ran 11 miles, about six, yeah, six of it at, at a, at a fast pace. So I'm a little, my, my, I don't know, my, my body is just way so <laughs> nothing else from earlier today. So we'll see how today goes. I thought I clicked on it, but I lied. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at today's problem, 2416, sum of prefix scores of strings. It's a hard problem, so definitely let's get started because... It may be a long one. Hopefully not, but uh, who knows? Uh, let me get a. Actually, let me get a quick water because I don't interrupt my flow. Um, hang on a second. Uh, sorry, friends. Uh, yeah, I mean, if if I think if this is gonna be a long one, I should get some water ready. Uh, hydrate up everybody you know I, I certainly need to do it more often all right let's go all right you're given a away words of size n they're all size n oh no no the way is size n consisting of nine empty strings we define the score of a string word as the number of strings words of i such that word is a prefix of words of i okay I, I didn't actually read that but okay number of string okay so words are do 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 then score A, B is A. Okay. Return a weight answer of size N where N sub so I is the sum of the scores of every non-empty prefix of words of I. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, it is a prefix of itself, okay. It is just the number of words, right? Okay, yeah, so, wait, but how do you get five then? Uh, A, B, C, da, 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 da. two strings of A, B, We define the score as okay. So every prefix, this is kind of worded awkwardly, I think, because A B also has, yeah, this it's a little bit awkward because they can't define like, you know, of A B yes, but not really right, because it also you have to include. Um, like you have to also include the prefix of AB, which is A, which also has two, so that AB is actually four, which is how they have it here anyway. But, uh, so it's a little bit confusing or a little bit inconsistent or maybe it is consistent, but it's not very precise anyway in how they describe it. But okay, we get it. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, we have N is equal to a thousand and the length of each word is a thousand, so we have a lot of characters we have to take care of. Um, I think this is also another problem where uh, I hate that we have deemed weeks, right? Uh, I hate that they have deemed weeks because uh, it's a little bit of like, you know, if you know the deem, then there's really not much to, you know. Um, like it's such a hint, right, to know uh, what... what um, You know, to know the theme, which, of course, the last couple of days we've been doing try problems. So, like, you know, eh. I mean, I would say that it's probably not hard to figure out that it is a try, but it certainly takes away that little bit of whatever not hard it is. So, but, uh, but I would say, though, it is a, probably a good application of the try, um, especially if you're a little, if you are still a little bit of a beginner for this. Uh, again, let's set it up. I always type them out, really. Uh, do, 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 right? Uh, I always type it out, but sometimes incorrectly, apparently. Uh, you go to a node, and I also have a node. I just kind of usually separate out the classes. Sometimes I, I put the helpers in the thing, but sometimes I don't, depending on how I feel, honestly. Um, yeah, and, you know, you got to make your nodes and tries. You know, um, the last couple of days, you saw me changing the tries 
um, you know, the search function, the add function, the find functions or whatever for the last couple of days, we change it depending on the problem. And this one is no different. For node, um, I think we have to probably keep track of count, right? Um, because the reason why here I want to put count is because we know that because um, it matters how many uh, words have to have that prefix, right? For example, if you have AB, um, then then it matters how many words have to prefix AB, and that's why I intuitively, at least for now, we have count. If we need more, then we, we have more. There are also a couple of ways you can think about this, right? Is that, um, but I like to separate things out, even if it's a little bit slower, but and then optimize the stuff later, and you'll see what I mean in a sec, right? So, anyway, but yeah, in here, in this problem, I think in uh, an earlier problem, like two days ago or something, we. I, I don't know what day, I saw, saw too many problems. But we, we sort it up, right? So that it, we do it by um, length order. But I don't think this matters for this one because, um, because you know, like it doesn't matter which way we go, we still need to do them all, right? So here maybe we have count is equal to zero. We have four word in words. Maybe our structure will be t dot add word because, well, we need to add the word. Um, and then we just do count t dot, um, yeah, maybe count, count word is fine, and then we just return count. So this is what, what mentally how I wanted to structure it, and I know that I'm doing this before I'm writing the code, because I'm just like, okay, well, what do we need? This, these are the things that we need. Uh, yeah, and then we could just write the add function and the count function, and we should be good. Um, the reason why I said that, you know, uh, earlier about premature optimization is that in theory, you can actually make them together into like a add and count thing, but um, but we're gonna keep it simple, keep the abstractions, you know, separate from each other, and you know, do them separately. And you know, if we um, if we need to, we will optimize it. But for now, you know, don't prematurely optimize. Let's just keep it simple, right? Because we know what how add would look like. We know how count would look like. Probably, hopefully, um, we don't need to kind of try to. Um, make it more complicated by doing them at the same time, even though we certainly can, right? So we have a word, we have current is equal to that word, and this is a try problem. I'm not going to try it today, even though I guess I drew a little bit thing either yesterday or the day before, but also because we've been doing it a couple of days, hopefully everything should look straightforward, right? So we, um, we traverse one at a time, right? So if C not in uh, current dot edges, then current dot edges is equal uh, of C is equal to a new node, and then current is equal to current dot edge, edges of C. So what what so this is a standard tri traversal, but what is different, right? Well, what is different is that when we add, we want to add. Like how how do we want to think about this, right? Um, in terms of this contribution, well, we contribute every pre prefix one to the search later so we want to keep track of it that way so that means that every time we traverse we want to do count we increment by one um there is some nuance here because the empty string does not count as a string otherwise maybe we would do also do one at the root like we could up increment the count so that's why here um that this is the case right and again for stuff like this you can actually you know Probably keep track of the counts and then just add it that way. But here, you know, it's also okay to keep it separate. And this one is very uh, straightforward as well. Um, and keeping in mind that you can actually write this, but it will never happen because, at least in this particular problem, because we add first, right? When you add with the same word, this would always happen before. So we're, we're pretty uh, good, right? So we do, 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 do. Um, and then that's one character at a time. So then we have a, uh, I don't know, we need, uh, yeah, okay. Let's just say R is equal to result, though I'm inconsistent with the thing. But our current dot count, and then at the very end, right end, we return R and we should be pretty Gucci. Right? Uh, hmm. Oh, I, I messed up, sorry. Apparently, you're supposed to have an array of answers instead of just one or the sum of answers. Easy to fix. I just cannot read apparently. But, uh, but yeah. Oh. 
Oh, 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 did I miss something? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I, I was wrong about the ordering. Well, I mean, in this case, that's the thing is that once you have the implementation, everything should be pretty okay. But, uh, but yeah, but now we should actually sub separate out because, um, yeah. The reason why I did it the other way is because... Um... The reason why I, I had it like this, and even though there was a subtle change, is because I had count as the total number of things, right? Um, and the reason why th 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 this is ideal for that kind of count, even though it gives a different answer, is because it doesn't double count, right? So you have to get a total count of all the scores or something like this, um, and you don't want to double count. Um, like pairwise distinct, this is the way to do it. So that's why my intuition was kind of to do it this way. Um, but clearly it doesn't fit the example. So then now, which is why huh, I can undo. Hmm, that is weird. Okay, fine. But yeah, but that is why uh, you have to process all the adding first and then process all the counting. It's not a, it's not a tough thing. But I just wanted to go over why that, like, I mean, it is obviously a bug and it's silly, but it was not, it's, it's, it's not as silly as just me, like, not thinking it through. Um, I mean, it is because I, I didn't pay attention, but, but there's a good, uh, I just want to kind of highlight that there is a good reason for it. And in that particular case, you don't double count like the pairwise I and J thing, right? Like I is less than J or whatever, if you want to think of it that way in the pairwise thing. And the other one would not double count and sometimes you may want to double count, and that's how, this is how you do it, I suppose. But uh, but that's why I kind of had it the other way. But yeah, but but now that you want to do it for every individual word, um, then you have to process everything because you have to process everything first, and then search because otherwise you're not going to get A B C over B, or, and then vice versa, right? Anyway, so yeah, so that looks good. Let's give a quick submit, and yeah. We look good. Apparently, we're all two years to almost to the day from the last time we solved it. I probably did it mostly the same way last time, right? Um, actually, it's remarkable how how similar my code looks. So you know, maybe I haven't learned anything in two years, but but maybe this is as good as it gets. Um. Yeah, so what's the complexity here, right? Well, for each character that exists in words, so not just each word, but each character inside those words, the summation of all that, well, because we have a try, we only, this only happens once for each character, and this happens another once, so O of 1 over R. So yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Yeah, this entire thing fits on this screen, which is actually rare for a try problem, because it just... You know, you have all this code, but, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for your support. Let me know if you're watching the WNBA. Also, yeah, uh, for my Indian fans out there, I know that we have a lot of Indian chess f fans out there. I know this is a little bit, I sh should have said at the beginning, but I, you know, I said too many things. Uh, congrats on winning the, the, uh, the chess Olympiad. It was very fun to watch, and it's always good to kind of see all these, uh, I mean, I'm just speaking as the old guy. I mean, I don't play chess, by the way. I just kind of watch it for the drama and I support it and stuff because, you know, as a brain sport or whatever. But, um, and, you know, I'm in another brain sport, if you want to call it that. I don't know. That. But in any case, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very exciting to see a lot of young people and I'm like an old guy now, right? So, uh, and just kind of, you know, coming to, I mean, the future is almost here. Or maybe the future is already here, depending on how you want to say it, because, you know, the, uh, the World Championship is it's later this year, right? Is it? Am I making that up? Or is that like next year? I don't even know the year anymore or the timing of it. Oh, yeah, November, right? So, yeah, yeah. So, we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see you all later and take care. Bye-bye.